Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Isle of Siptar, in Map Square M9, building a jungle cabin. This is a nice humble build to start off the year, and is inspired by my own first few times playing Ark, as I remember building a cabin similar to this in the forest next to the river on the eastern side of the map, before it got quickly torn down by an Alpha Carno. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how to save 68% on a 2 year deal with the best VPN service available. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I started off with of course the base plate. I laid out wooden fence foundations to mark out the basic room plan and base plate of the build. I'll be making the cabin a relatively modest size, not too big and not too small. I'll also be using wooden ceilings as the floor for this build, as I think it suits the environment nicely. Next for the walls. I wanted this build to remain connected to the environment, so I used regular frames and empty wall slots to build windows into the cabin, following the room plan I created with the fence foundations and building the walls two tiles high for the ground floor. I also include an outdoor patio area at the front of the cabin, along with a back balcony that connects two stairs which will lead up to the first floor. Next for the first floor. I covered the top of the ground floor walls with wooden ceilings, then building up the walls of the first floor. I left another small outdoor patio, along with a central 3x3 room connecting to two smaller wings. I built the walls for the first floor one tile high on the central 3x3 and 2x2 right side wing, with the second 3x3 being one tile high in the centre and sloping down with sloped sides. Next for the roof. This is another one of those builds where the roofing is really simple if you just follow the flow, which is exactly what I did. I built roofs according to the earlier placement of roof gables, which created a nice multi-leveled interconnected roof that worked really nicely for this build. I also placed walls on the ground floor to create those open tile windows I mentioned earlier, along with fences where necessary, awnings and pillars to add visual support. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've surrounded the home with pillars to protect from larger creatures, and lit the home with aquilonian braziers, as having large unprotected flames in this cabin seems somewhat foolish. Entering the build, the ground floor is designed to be quite open and cosy, taking advantage of the warmer tones with some ketan decorations. Overall, I've really tried to capture a rustic cabin feel with the design of this home, incorporating decorations that suit the natural rustic palette. This cabin is quite tightly designed and can feel a little claustrophobic at times, but I think the decoration does a nice job of helping to offset that feeling and create a little more comfort within the build itself.
heading up to the first floor, this is where the bedrooms and storage are located. This floor has a much smaller overall traversable area than the last, and provides a comfortable place to rest and relax, whilst also offering some storage options for the residents living within. And there we have it, a jungle cabin on the Isle of Siptar in Map Square M9. Thanks for watching, I wanted to capture a really cosy yet simple atmosphere within this build, and I think I managed to do that perfectly. I'm really happy with how this build came out, and I hope you all enjoy it. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income. So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialat, Randar, MK Pantheon, Velma, Shannara, and Torn. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.